Now we are online. I think we are live. Hi, hello, good evening, everyone. Wave your hands. Woohoo! Woo welcome, welcome to our Shining Star session. And can we say all day hello to the kids and press in and thumbs up, thumbs up, and give us the like. <laughs> okay, you give teacher Johan here a few seconds and also to daddy, mommy, teacher May, teacher Cherry. We want to actually share this out. Huh? Okay, so make sure it's out on the Facebook first. Let's see because we can see the live button over here. The live thing over here. Let's check whether the page ah, yeah. is it out already. Yes, yes. Yes, already, Cherry? Out already? Yes, yes, yes out already. Okay, yes, we are on Facebook Live. So welcome, welcome everyone. Can you please type in the comment box, okay, for the Facebook audience, type in the comment box, where are you tuning in from, okay? If you're from Shah Alam, if you're from Ipoh, if you're from Kuantan, from Sri Kembanga, Petaling, Jaya, Kepung, anywhere, just type in there. Yes, hi, I saw Jenny, I saw Krista, teacher me. Hello, hello. Okay, welcome, welcome to this Shining Star session. We are a kids public speaking academy where we give kids the real life experience speaking not only at malls and theme parks, even on Facebook Live. So the kids today all deserve a big round of applause. Yay, kids can clap for your friends too. And today we have five very brave students over here. Ha, you can see they are handsome and also pretty faces. We have Zen Ying, we have Anya, we have Elroy, we have Jaden, and also we have Jordan. Okay. Now, of course, I would like to pass the control next to teacher May to call upon her students. But before that, okay, can we have more likes? Okay, press the likes and also the love button over here. <laughs> like, 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 love, 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 love. Okay, thank you, thank you. So teacher May is a very passionate educator. Okay, she runs her kindergarten at Sri Kembangan, Pusat Banda Putra Permai. Huh? And she has been an educator for more than... 15 years. Wow, wow, wow. Anya like, huh? Yeah, before even you were born, teacher may already start teaching already, you know, even before you were born, you know. Ha! Can we type in the comment box? May, M-E-I, that is teacher may. Yay! Okay, and teacher may has two students over here today who will be the shining stars. Okay, the first two speakers. So before we start, I would like all of you to type in number five. Okay, number five. Why number five is to give high five to all the students. Okay, teacher May, I would like to pass the control to you to call upon your two students. Over to you. Okay, now there are five superstars going to be shining star, right? After their performance, then you will agree with me. Okay, without further delay, let that, let's give them a chance to present themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first speaker. She will introduce herself. Hello everyone, my name is Anya Cheng and I am six years old. I am from Kiss Public Speaking, Suri Kamangan. Let me share with you my wonderful trip to Korea in 2019. It was a family trip. My grandparents, uncle, auntie, and cousin brother brought us for the trip too. We traveled to Korea by flight and upon landing, we went the cars to drive around Jeju Island. The scenes along the island was absolutely amazing. Jeju Island is also called Jeju Do in Korean. It is very famous for its big fields and volcanic landscapes. One of the few interesting places that we visited was also Rock Museum. 
It has nice windy farms and we took a lot of photos and had our afternoon tea there. Their green tea ice cream was awesome. We also visited Hello Kitty Land. It is the place where Hello Kitty fans dream come true. The land is full of Hello Kitty. It looks exactly like a pink palace. We went for Jeju Wheel Bike too. This is where we sat in a cab for four persons. And we could choose to pedal on the rail or we could choose to let the cat move by its own. Along the way, we enjoyed the breeze and the sceneries. We love this so much. I hope I have the chance to visit Korea again because now I like to sing K-pop songs like Dynamite or Butter from BTS. I hope I have the chance to see them in Korea. Thank you. Well done! Definitely, Anya! Definitely, I would love to go to Korea, not only to see the pop stars, but go there for skiing, yeah? They have a lot of skiing mountain there, and also eat the kimchi. Alright, thank you for recommending Korea. Now, next, I would like to invite our next speaker. Well, if you don't know where to go, okay, think of some place further than Asia. Elroy is going to introduce to you where is the best place to go in. Listen to him, he will tell you. Hi everyone, my name is Elroy Kao and I am seven years old. I am from Kids Public Speaking, Siri Kambangan. Today, I would like to share with you some facts about Europe. Europe is a continent and it consists of 44 countries. The biggest countries in Europe is Russia, followed by Ukraine, France, Spain, and Sweden. These are the five biggest countries in Europe by total area. Europe is also surrounded by a few oceans, namely the Arctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Did you know that Europe has many historical monuments. These monuments are not just famous, but they are also a huge tourist attraction. Have you heard of a big band? It is a huge tower clock located in London, England. It is very well known for its accuracy an hour bell. At every hour, it will go dong, dong, dong. And it can be heard from as far as five miles away. It is also connected to the Palace of Westminster. Like in France, there is an Eiffel Tower. It is 300 because high and is located in Paris. There are many cafes around the Eiffel Tower for people to sit and enjoy the view. When the Eiffel Tower is lit up with a lot of lights and light, it is very beautiful. Italy it was famous for its Colosseum. It is round like an arena. It was used for entertainment showing gladiator fights during the olden times. The Colosseum is located in Rome. The world famous cathedral is located in Barcelona, Spain. 
It is called the La Sagrada Familia and was built in the 19th century. The man behind this cathedral is Antoni Gaidia, who is a famous Spanish architect. It is also a very beautiful building at night. These are a few examples of the places that I would like to go with my family. Europe is very big and I wish to be able to travel the whole of Europe with my family. Thank you. Wow, how I wish I can travel together with you. Okay, Europe hmm, is one of my dream um, place, dream holidays. Yeah, thank you, Elroy, for recommending such a lot of beautiful and romantic places in Europe. Back to you, Teacher Johan. Okay, can we type the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up for Elroy and also Anya. Okay, and if you have been to Europe, ladies and gentlemen, type in the comment box, yes. Okay, type in yes. Or you have been to Korea, also type in yes. Ha. And more importantly, which part of Europe have you traveled to? You can type in the comment box, okay? Spain, Italy, Germany, Russia, Ukraine. They say, okay, which part of Europe you've been before? You can type in the comment box. Well done to Anya and also Elroy for sharing. Next, we have another speaker, okay? And he's going to share a very important topic. Okay, the third speaker for today is Jaden. But before that, I want you to type in the comment box the initials J, J for Jaden to support him. Type in J, 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 and also J and J and J. <laughs> okay, and the topic is climate change. Okay, so I'll pass the control to Jaden. You can share your slides first, Jaden, before you start. Okay, and put to full screen. Okay, put to full screen. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Hello, everyone. I'm Jaden Lim from Sekolah Sri Tendi Setia Iku Park. Today, I'll be talking about why should we care about climate change? Earth has been heating up from 1880 to 2020. This has caused severe rainstorms, droughts, cyclones, heat waves, and rising sea levels. Here are some reasons why we should care about climate change. Number one, we want the habitat of animals to be preserved. There's two types of habitats, terrestrial and aquatic. Terrestrial habitats are deserts, mountains, and grasslands, while aquatic habitats are oceans and ponds. Climate change will make it harder for animals to find food and deplete the habitats. This will ultimately impact the entire food chain, causing mass extinction of species on a global scale. The animals that are nearly extinct now will be the ones most likely to be extinct. Number two, we want beautiful oceans for sea life. Warm air and ocean, and ocean temperatures cause coral bleaching where corals turn white and may die. Ocean acidification compounds the problem. Today, the ocean is 26 more percent acidic than it was in 90. Climate change is very bad news for anyone hoping to see a great barrier reef one day. Number three, we deserve to breathe clean air. If climate change is driven by human cost emissions to the atmosphere, we will face compromised air quality. This affects human health, especially children. Air pollution can lead to asthma, heart, and lung. 
families. We all love to breathe clean air for a healthy life. Actually, have you ever wondered why there's so much carbon dioxide around us? Well, it's because we are losing more carbon sinks. Carbon sinks are trees, bushes, and other plants. But since we are chopping down the trees, we are losing more carbon sinks. Number four, rising sea level. A warmer climate will cause ice caps on mountains, Greenland, Antarctica, and icebergs to melt, putting additional water into the oceans. Sea level is expected to rise five inches during the next 20 years, running coastal cities. The cost of protecting coastal cities from the rising seas will be extraordinary. One day, low lying islands might be also submerged. Here are three ways to solve the climate crisis. Number one, speak up. Talk to your friends and family and voice your concerns. Create the awareness that each and every one of us can make a difference to reduce climate change. Number two, power your home with renewable energy. Try to use renewable energy, such as power from wind, solar, or water. Renewable energy tends to be much less harmful to the environment. Invest in energy efficient appliances. When shopping for refrigerators, washing machines, and other appliances, look for an energy star label. You can make a difference we all can. Climate change is not a problem we can deal with when we have more time and money. Businesses, schools, individuals, governments, and other organizations also can help reduce climate change. But it's going to need huge effort from us. Just remember, it is not too late to fix the climate. And each and every one of us can make a difference to reduce climate change together. That is all from me. Thank you. Thank you to Jaden. Can we type the comment box? Wow, wow, wow. W O W. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Jaden, for speaking up. All right. By sharing this, you actually walk the talk and also share with us about this very, very important topic. Well done to you, Jaden. And of course, thanks for sharing the rising sea level. Sea is getting more acidic, you know, and of course, earth is also heating up. I think today really, really hot, you know, the weather, okay? And of course, we also deserve to breathe in clean air. And each and every one of us can actually do a part to really care for the climate change. Okay, so type in wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. And of course, we have two more speakers. And of course, parents, we also appreciate our viewers in Facebook. Press the share button, okay? Share this out to your Facebook profile. Now, the next two speakers, I would like to introduce to you. But before that, I would like to introduce their teacher first, okay? So it will be Miss Cherry. Miss Cherry is the co-founder of Johan Speaking Academy. It's also a certified HRDF trainer. And of course, she's been teaching kids for many, many years since 2014, impacted so many lives. Okay, so I'll pass the control to Teacher Cherry. Over to you. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Yes, good evening to all the Facebook friends, parents, students, grandparents. Thank you so much for your support. Yes, today is our shining star. So thank you so much for the, the previous three students for the amazing speech. So now the next speaker, let's welcome Jordan. Jordan only six years old and he will present his technology speech. Okay, Jordan, are you ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Do you all agree that technology has changed our lives? Wait, right. my name is Jordan and I'm six years old. Number one, two, people zoom here, zoom that zoom everywhere. From meetings, online classes, to celebrating birthdays. People use a zoom. Do you all use zoom? I use zoom for online learning and chatting with my relatives and friends. 
I really like to use them. Well, put points are the one. Zoom zoom makes us safe. Can learn on blind and prevent ourselves from going out, especially during the lockdown. And two, we can learn lessons from other countries. Bad points are number one. The spoil our eyes we have too much screen time. Number two, lack of human touch. Whether it is good or bad, this has become a new norm that we have to use online platforms like Zoom. Number two, grab food. People now use online food delivery to deliver food to their homes. With less people going out, this has become a new norm. Do you all use services like grab food or food panda? For my family, we use grab food. We order food like pizza, McDonald's, KFC, and many more. Food delivery app has also helped many people to have part-time and full-time income. This technology has changed how FMB works. My dear parents and friends, this technology has changed how meetings are conducted, food are delivered, and the education landscape. What are your goals? Change your approach, adapt to technology, and all the best. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Jordan. Yes, change your approach. Right, you have to adapt to technology, right? Okay, especially this uh, this uh, pandemic. Okay, thank you so much, Jordan, for your speech. Amazing speech, right? All the best to you. Okay, press the J to support Jordan. Okay, so next, the last speaker for today is our Dan Zheng Ying. He will present his story, Hungry Dragon. Right, Zheng Ying, are you ready? Now you have to unmute your mic. Yes. Okay. You have to stand up. Jenny. Okay, ready? Go one, two, three, go. Hi, friends. My name is Tan Zhen I am seven years old. Today, I will present a story. The title is The Hungry Dragon. Deep in the mountains live a dragon. Every hundred years, he wakes up. He is very hungry. I want some breakfast, he said. He went down the mountains to the village. He saw a boy. Yum, a boy for breakfast. Don't eat me, said Sia. I'll give you some food. Sia took the dragon to his house. The dragon ate three plates of chicken and rice. I am still hungry. Sia gave the dragon more food. The dragon ate five plates of noodles and ten sausages. He was still hungry. They went to the restaurant. The dragon ate 20 meatballs and 50 fish balls. He was still hungry. They went to the restaurant. They went to the shop. The dragon ate all fruits and all vegetables, mangoes and cabbages, tomatoes, mushrooms and beans. He was still a bit hungry. Sia looked in his pocket. There was one sweet. Sia gave the sweet to the dragon. The dragon ate the sweet. The dragon exploded. Boom! Hooray! Shouted Sia. No more boys for breakfast. Moral, don't be greedy. Thank you. Wow! Great job, Zenyi! Well done! Yes, everybody press Z Y to support Zenyi. Very well presented, right? Okay, you managed to change your voice. Facial expression, yeah, this is very good in storytelling, okay? Keep it up.
Okay, well done to all speakers. Round of applause. Woohoo! Okay, press at the comment box number five. Number five, five stars to five shining stars. Press five, 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 five. <laughs> Keep pressing five. Yes, well done, well done. Teacher is really, really proud of all of y'all. Okay, well done. So right. Right now will be the third ceremony, okay? Third ceremony in no particular order. Teacher will share the third by random, okay? The first one, first picture will be yourself taking the picture. And of course, second picture, parents, you can join in or siblings too. Okay, so first person will be receiving the certificate. Okay, first person will be receiving the certificate will be... Elroy! Congratulations, Elroy! Teacher Cherry, you have to take the picture. Teacher Cherry? Yes, Elroy, can you sit up a bit? Elroy? Teacher Cherry, your voice uh, cannot hear. Very soft. Yeah, Elroy, can you sit up a bit? Elroy, sit up a bit, Elroy. Yeah, look at the camera. Okay, smile, smile, Elroy. Oh, Elroy? All right, thank you. Well done, Elroy. Mommy, daddy next to you or not? Is mommy Elroy? you? No? Okay, next one. Let's go to the next one. Anya, congratulations, Anya. Well done. Okay, Anya, come look at the camera. Sit up a bit. Yes, yes. Adjust your screen. Come, smile. One, two, three. Smile. Where's your camera, Anya? Look at the camera. Camera is there. Don't look at yourself. Look ah. at the camera. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Mommy next to you, not Anya. Is mommy next to you? No. Okay, next person, Jaden. Congratulations, Jaden. Okay, Jaden, come look at the camera. Come down a bit. Down a down bit. A bit. Can I see down your face, Jaden? Uh, smile. All right, thank you. Okay, we go to Jordan first and then we are together, both of you. Okay, next one, Jordan. Congratulations. Jordan, look at the camera. Smile. All right, thank you. Okay, come both of you together, Jaden, Jordan. I'm going to join you also, Ken. Come. Okay, come then, oh, two of you together. Okay. Jaden together. and Jordan together, come. One, two, three, smile. Smile. All right, thank you. Well done to Jaden and Jordan. Next one, Tan Zeng Ying. Congratulations. Okay, Tan Ying, look at the camera. Smile. Happy face. Come, Tan Ying. Smile, Tan Ying, smile. Dragon already gone. Boom. Okay, Tan Ying, the camera, please. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Ah, yes, one, two, three. Yes, good. Okay, mommy wants to take photo with mommy you. Mommy, take picture of you. Come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well done to all students. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, before we end the session, teacher have to wait. Uh, how do... Okay, well done to everyone. Type in the comment box, box, well done. Type in there, well done, well done, well done to today's shining stars. Ha -ha. And thank you so much, audience, for your support. Thank you so much, parents. And also, of course, to all of you kids for your dedication and also your practice, okay? I know, Teacher John, know that it is not easy, but you really pull this off and it is really, really amazing to speak in front of live audience. So to find out more about us, we have Kids Public Speaking Program online, offline. Do check us out at Johan Speaking Academy or even our page, Kids Public Speaking. And also Teacher May's page, Kids Public Speaking, Sri Kambangan. Okay. So till then, kids, you all stay here first. Huh? Teacher had to off the live first. Okay. Then we chit chat for a while. Okay. So thank you so much, audience in Facebook Live. So students, can you all just say wave and say bye-bye to all the audience in Facebook Bye, and thank Bye. you so much for your support. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, press the live, I, off the live first. You all stay here first. We take a group picture, okay?
Okay. All right. Bye. We're going to stop live stream. Okay. Thank you.